Hello by the programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss how to create the ultra edge system or popularly known as Nico meter system in our cricket matches using Python. Now I'm a big fan of cricket. Okay. And whenever I see a match with my programming mind, I notice a lot of things. And one of them is Nico meter. Now the concept of Nico meter is very simple. We have a small camera and a mic inside our middle stump. And that small camera detects even a slight bit of noise, which is generated from the contact of your bat and ball or your bat and pad or your ball and pad. Okay. I'll probably play a small snippet of how this works. I hope no one gives me a copyright for this. So this was the concept of Sneakometer. Now what I'll do is I'll use the Arduino mic sensor to detect even a small noise in the background. Now this is the basic code. Okay. This video is for the basic code to detect a small noise or a small click or a small contact in the background. Now for a final project, we have to eliminate the noise. And the reason behind this is uh, because we all know that stadiums are filled with people and they make various noises from shouting to throwing things to clapping to some instruments. So these noises shouldn't interfere with our sneakometer. So yeah, it will take some time for me to create a machine learning algorithm to detect these noises and delete them. This video will create the starter code. Okay, this video will show you how to use this sensor to detect the noise, sorry, to detect the click. In the further videos, we'll see how to remove the noise. Okay, and one more thing, I have recently revamped my channel membership. So now if you buy the channel membership, you can see behind the scenes how these projects are created, how I edit these videos, how the thinking behind the project works. Okay. It will be like a four and five hour live stream where you can ask me questions and I'll answer questions while creating my project. So you'll actually see what happens behind the screen and how I create these projects because I am working on some bigger projects. This is why I am taking some time to upload these normal videos because some bigger projects are under construction like a third person game from Ursina, uh, like this project and many more projects. So if you buy my channel membership, you'll get a sneak peek of the backstage, but this won't affect the regular project flow. Channel members won't get any special projects. All the projects will be available for everyone. Okay, as this channel's motto is to provide free projects for everyone, channel membership is only for a sneak peek of the backstage of how these projects are created. Okay, now let's start off with our project. So first of all, let's see the hardware and software requirements of our project. So for hardware, you need Arduino Uno as your microcontroller, then some jumper wires, mainly male to female wires and the sound sensor. Okay, I'll provide the link in the description from where you can buy. If you want to buy from somewhere else, from a physical shop or wherever you want, you can buy from there. But the links listed below will have the products which I have bought. Okay, now let's discuss about the software. So first of all, you need the Arduino IDE. Okay, this IDE will be used only once to upload the code on the board. Okay. After that, all the data collection, data management, everything will be done through our Python program. This IDE will be used only once. Okay. I'll provide the link for this IDE in the description. You can download from there. Then obviously you need Python to be installed on your system and uh, we need only one package. So let me quickly show you that what package we need. So pip install PySerial by serial okay press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed make sure that you are not installing serial okay install pi serial serial is a different package pi serial is a different package we need pi serial here okay so we are done with the hardware and software requirements for this project now let's quickly jump to our arduino editor so that we can start writing our code so this is the Arduino code for this project. You don't need to install any package. And uh, 
Actually, let me show you the connection real quick before I explain you the code. Okay, just give me a second. Let me explain you the connection. Okay, so the connection is fairly simple. These are the hardware required as I have already told you. First is your microcontroller. Then we need some male to female jumper wires. Then we have our sensor. This is the sound sensor that we'll be using. All the links will be provided in the description you can buy from there. Uh, now let's take a look at the pin uh, position on our sensor. As you can see the first pin is out, second pin is ground and third pin is VCC. Okay. Now let's connect our male, uh, female section of this male to female wires on our sensor. Okay, so it's done. Now the first pin which is your blue one is your output let me focus okay so the output is your blue let's connect this blue pin to the output output is analog 3 make sure that you are connecting this to analog don't connect this to digital okay this is the digital part this is analog part okay this is analog so connect it to analog 3 this is uh, analog 0 1 2 3 okay connect this to analog 3 so blue is connected to analog 3 uh, the green one is your ground the middle one is your ground so let's connect green to ground green will be connected to ground these are the two ground uh, pins then this is your power input your purple okay so it got out okay so purple is your power input as you can see it's VCC, it's power input. So power input will be connected to your 5 volts. Just give me a second. Yep, as you can see, this will be the connection. Okay, so the connection is done. Let's see how our program is written. So first of all, we have defined a sound pin variable. This is the pin on which your sound module or sound sensor is connected. Okay, so this is analog 3, A3. You can also connect it to digital, but uh, for my case, I saw the sensitivity of digital to be very low. This is why I am using the analog pin. Okay, then we have specified that what is the threshold. Okay, you can play along with these values, which we'll be doing in our further videos. Okay, then this is the setup loop. We have uh, given the serial begin and pin mode sound pin A3 dot, uh, sorry, comma input. Okay, so this sound pin is input. We are specifying that at A3, a input is connected. Then inside our void loop, we have the sound sense variable. This will analog read the sound pin. Okay, for digital read, we have read. For analog read, we have analog read. Okay, then if the sound sense, this variable is greater than the threshold. Okay, if the input coming is greater than the threshold or if there's a sound, then we'll serial print edge. Okay, then we'll give a delay of 1000 units. Now, I have written this turn LED on. As we know, in a third umpire, we have two lights, red and green. So, if there is an edge, I want to turn on the red light. Okay, now this is for further videos. I've started working on further videos. This is why you can see this comment here. Anyway, this was the Arduino part. To run this program, what you have to do is, you have to connect your Arduino Uno to the USB port and click on this upload button. Okay, now I'm not able to upload this code right now because all the USB port on my laptop are occupied. But you don't need to worry. I'll show you a small recording of me uploading the code from my smartphone. Okay. So this was the Arduino code. Now let's get to a Python program. 
Once again, you can see that the code is really small. First, we have imported serial. Okay. The package name was spy serial, but when we call it, we call serial. Okay. Second is time to add some delay. Then sir is equal to serial dot serial com5. Com5 is the port on which uh, the Arduino board is connected. Let me show you. Uh, when you go to your Arduino IDE, uh, click on this tools and you can see port here. Okay. Just below your board, you will see port. For me, it is uh, COM5. For you, it may be different. So COM5 9600 timeout is equal to 1. Okay. Then this is a small print statement so that I know that my code is working fine. Ultra Edge activated. For i 600, this is just some random number. You can create an infinite loop so that it runs continuously and have a exit condition. Okay. Line is equal to sir dot read line dot decode utf8. Okay. Read line. Sir is the data coming dot read line dot decode and the decoding is of utf8 okay then if line is equal to wedge this is uh, the print that we have given him so if it is edge which means that the sound is detected we'll say that edge that's a out otherwise it will be a straight line then time dot sleep two seconds adding some delay and uh, yeah this is the starter code required let me show you a small working demo of our project. So as you saw, the code is working perfectly and it's able to detect noises. Now there is lots of work required. First of all, we have to adjust the noises. Sorry, we have to adjust the sensitivity according to our noise. But for that, we have to recognize the voice. And for recognizing the voice, we have to do some machine learning stuff, which will be coming on our channel. Okay. By the way, this video was part of a Arduino with Python playlist where I discuss multiple Arduino components with Python. I have discussed multiple sensors from ultrasonic sensor to servo motor to touch sensor and I have created multiple projects also. So if you want, you can take a look at them and I'll meet you in my next lecture.